Good afternoon to one and all present here, myself Richa and today for the model making competition I have prepared an earthquake alarm. So, one cannot ignore the natural laws in spite of uh, major developments in the fields of science and technology. Nature has forced the scientific community to uh, assume and predict many of these natural calamities. So, uh, an earthquake just so happens to be one of the most damaging ones. And you may ask how an earthquake is formed or you may wonder how an earthquake is formed. So depending on the formation, earthquakes are of many types. Some of them are um, the earthquakes that are formed due to tectonic plate movement, the irregular tectonic plate movements which are called tectonic earthquakes. Then we have the earthquakes that are caused due to uh, volcanoes which are called volcanic earthquakes and then we have the earthquakes that are formed due to the detonation of chemical and nuclear devices which are called explosive earthquakes. So that's all about earthquakes. Now let's get on to the project. So the main objective of this project is to alert people, it's to sense a, a, an earthquake and alert people so that they can move towards a place of safety. So um, I have used a 9 volt uh, battery in this um, project which facilitates as the main uh, power source and the positive terminal, the positive wire of the battery is connected to the positive terminal of the uh, buzzer and the buzzer is also connected through uh, to a LED um, to both, both the negative and positive terminals of the wire of the buzzer of the LED is connected to the buzzer through a serial connection which ca which causes two or more reactions. So basically when you switch on the when you switch the switch on uh, you will see that the light as well as the buzzer turns on. So after that um, there is a switch the uh, the negative wire of the buzzer is connected to a switch and basically what a switch is um, what is a switch switch is basically what regulates the charge it determines whether the charge will flow or not so when the switch is switched on then the flow or flow of current uh, goes through and the circuit is complete and when it doesn't the, uh, the circuit is blocked or is stopped so um, basically after that when you connect this to uh, black wires at the end, you will notice that it's, the circuit is complete. But in this project what we are doing is we are extending the circuit by um, attaching one of the black wires to the end of this 